Welcome to our Science Microlearning Channel. Lab biosafety is important for preventing the spread of infectious diseases. The World Health Organization has a set of guidelines for biosafety in laboratories. These guidelines are based on the type of pathogen being studied and the level of risk involved. The levels of biosafety range from 1 to 4, with level 1 being the lowest risk and level 4 being the highest. Level 1 labs handle non-hazardous materials while level 4 labs handle deadly pathogens like Ebola. Personal protective equipment is used in labs to protect workers from exposure to pathogens. This includes gloves, gowns, masks, and face shields. Lab workers must follow strict protocols for handling and disposing of hazardous materials. All equipment and surfaces must be sterilized before and after use to prevent cross-contamination. Airflow and pressure is carefully controlled in biosafety level 3 and 4 labs to prevent pathogens from escaping. Lab workers must undergo training before working in a biosafety lab. In case of a spill or accident, there are protocols in place to contain and clean up the area. In addition to lab safety, shipping infectious materials also requires proper protocols to prevent contamination. Proper labeling and packaging is required when shipping hazardous materials. Lab workers must follow the regulations set forth by the International Air Transport Association. Biosafety labs are used for a variety of research including vaccines, treatments, and disease surveillance. Biosafety labs are an important part of the global effort to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.